and we have rigged the eyes. In this video, we will be moving on to rigging the mouth. And if I am being quite honest, rigging the mouth is one of the more complicated parts of a, making a VTuber model. However, this is a chibi model, so it will be very fast, very easy, and very simple. First things first, I got a new mouse, which means I can zoom in and out my 2D again! <laughs> and in this video, we are going to be starting the mouth rigging. Take a look at my model right here. And as you can see, as I talk with my mouth right now, um, we are going to be doing a simple 3x3 three three, uh, keyframe thingy to rig the mouth. This is the simplest and fastest way to rig a mouth for uh, a VTuber, and it's perfect for a cheeky VTuber. So, first things first, we're going to select your upper lip, the deformer button right here, we're only going to use this tool for now, zoom right in, and now we are going to, well, add the little dots, if you remember these from the eye rigging video. Let's use about five. Actually, I don't want that to extend past the... No, 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 not that. <laughs> there we go. And now we are just going to do the same thing to the bottom lip. Hide. There we go. And... Send past one, two, three, four, five. Extend. Okay, those aren't even. We want to keep them more or less symmetrical. You know what? There we go. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, now we can actually start rigging the mouth. So. What we're going to do is we are going to select everything in our mouth folder and we will be using the parameter thingies mouth open and mouth form but we are going to start with mouth open so tap the three thingy right here and right there and let's move them both a bit closer to i want to keep things close together <laughs> where'd they go them in a folder. Mouth. Mm, there you go. All right. So, let's slide mouth open all the way up there. Leave mouth form in the middle. And what we're going to do first is lower the up the <laughs> lower the lower lip. Uh, a word of advice, you typically don't want to move your upper lip up because when a real person talks, their upper lip doesn't really move that much. It's your jaw that does the talking. So let's go. Hold shift, drag down, and let's also get the mouth to lower a bit. There we go. And let's connect the, now we're gonna finally use the uh, deformers here. We're going to just click and drag them to connect them to the upper lip. Just make a neutral open mouth expression. By the way, there's a really fast way to do this. Just if you shift click on two of the same deformer, they will stack together. It saves you the time of trying to adjust each and every deformer dot thingy individually. There we go. Oh, I missed it. There we go. Let's lower the center one.
And we're also gonna get the top lip to, you know, shift it just a little bit down. So it's not just the bottom lip doing all the work. It looks like we got the teeth peeking out, so we're just gonna shrink the mouth back. And did I clip my stuff correctly? Hold on. Let's see. Mouth back, art mesh, control C. Oh, yeah, it's not clipping. There we go. Now our problem is fixed. And the tongue should be down here for this. Hmm, okay, it's not very even, so we're just going to play around with deformers until we can fix that. And, by the way, when you are editing your mouth, make sure you move the lower teeth down too with your bottom, or with your teeth, because I didn't realize that the reason it looks so funky was because, oh my goodness. There we go, that looks much more natural. Yeah, just make sure you move the uh, teeth with the mouth. Oh, all right, now how about a happier expression? <sighs> so, let's get on to the mouth form. All the way to the left is going to be how you make the O sound with a, or make an O shape with your lips or a sad face. And all the way to the right is going to be more of a happy face or any ah shapes with uh, your lips. So let's get started with happy or ah. Move everything up like so. Anyway, so we've got all of our keeping spider thingies all the way to one or all the way to the right. So let's make this a big happy mouth. Let's drag that bottom lip down. And let's start with shaping the upper lip just a little bit. Because I know I said you shouldn't really uh, be messing around with the upper lip too much, but it helps make a more uh, happy smile. There we go, and I'm gonna fix the back of the mouth too. And make sure we got that going for us as well. And remember, teeth, <laughs> move your teeth. And for mouth all the way open, we're gonna leave the uh, teeth closer to the uh, lip itself to make it look like your mouth is really wide open. Tongue goes down too. And some upper teeth. Yeah, that's a good happy smile. Now, let's see, let's fix up the evenness a bit. And it's all right if, uh, and by the way, you can move by these things too if it's clipping over to your uh, line art. And it's okay if your model's, like, parts aren't perfectly symmetrical because opening mouth is a rather quick movement that people aren't gonna focus too much of their attention on. So don't worry about it too much. Now how about that O sound, or the sad face? Leave the mouth open all the way to the right. And we're gonna leave the mouth form all the way down. Lower that lower lip. And this time the main focus is going to be on the upper lip to make that O shape, or the frowny face.
that sticks to death mounts. And those gosh darn teeth. And for the old sound, I don't mind the teeth being relatively close together. Tongue would also be kind of high up. And there we go. You know what, I think they should stand to be a bit more squished. There we go. And let's do the upper lip too. Much better. And now there is one more thing we have to do, and that is uh, get all of the uh, mouth shapes set in the basic or the neutral key frame thingy. So, mouth form to happy. Let's make that mouth happy again. And same for the uh, Actually, you know what? Yeah, we can make this a little happier. Move the upper lip down a bit. There we go. And now, how about that frowny face? There we go. I like how it's a bit more of a screwed up expression. Because chibis aren't supposed to have, like, the... Most ridiculous mouth shapes. Okay, try to stand to lower it a bit more. Just a wee bit. Upper lip. There we go. And you know what? We should really have a kind of middle keyframe as well for like the half shut mouth. So let's do one for the sad face. Remember, we're gonna be working with the bottom lip. Move it down a bit. It doesn't need to be open all the way because this is only the half open. Lower teethies. Pull down. Not touching the upper teeth. Tongue goes there. There we go. Now. Middle. Let's try the neutral face. Neutral now. for the smiling face. Let's get a neutral or the halfway smile. No lip. And now I think we can link them together and let's take a look, see. There we go. A perfectly functional mouth. Let's test it out in live 2D. All right, and exporting your model is actually, uh, well, I wanna say it's simple, but if it's your first time, it might be a bit confusing. So export for runtime, MOC3 file, leave everything as is, okay. Now, let's go to the PC, the Windows SSD thingy, program files, times 86. And it might be slightly different on your computer, so keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and Steam Apps, Common, YouTube Studio, Data, Streaming Assets. Here are the models. Models, and I have one just for Piero. There we go. Export it right in there. 
and if we did it correctly, once we open Live 2D, it should just pop up. And here we are in VTube Studio. Double click, let's go up to the little person thingy right here, and this is where the Piro model is. Now, we didn't set a uh, specific illustration or anything like that to, uh, you know, create the thumbnail. I'm just gonna click on that. Mmm, let's just see if the mouth works. Auto setup. Whoa! Whoa! It works! Sort of, but the mouth is moving. Now, there are a lot of things wrong with the model. Obviously, with the eyes automatically going to the eyes widen position, but, uh, we can fix that in a later video. But we got the mouth working. Ooh. <laughs> also struggling to make the uh, frowny face too. Mm, yep, we will go over how to fix that in a future video because setting up a model in uh, VTube Studio takes a little bit more effort than just copy pasting it into the file. And there you have it. That is how you rig a mouth in Live 2D. In future video, we will go over how to, uh, you know, fix your model in YouTube Studio so it actually does what you want it to. Because, yeah, that model is still very, very broken and nowhere near ready for uh, streaming purposes. If there was anything you felt I could have explained better or anything you didn't understand, please let me know in the comments so I can do better with my next tutorial. In the next video, we will be going over the head X and Y. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Maybe you should like and subscribe. <laughs>